Greetings, my name is Denise and I run the Poshmark Closet Eat, Play, Love. I have a little bit of a new video experience I'm trying out today, and that is I went sourcing and then I'm gonna share my haul with you. This video is simply gonna be me out in a thrift store as I'm hunting through racks on 50% off day, which we know can be a crowded day, a day I typically avoid at the thrift stores. I spent $80 at the ARC today. I hope you enjoy coming along with me as I am sometimes actually just squeezing in between racks and seeing what I can find at a place that I typically don't source at. There's a lot more hunting and pecking to do when you encounter those big sales. I'm gonna get right into what I found. I picked up a pair of Girlfriend Collective leggings. These were $5.99. Girlfriend Collective is definitely a brand to keep an eye out for. I think in general it's not as common to find, but Girlfriend Collective is a solid pickup over a brand like Outdoor Voices. Now, oh gosh, I am proud of this pickup. So when I saw these jeans, and these were the only jeans that I picked up today, I instantly got excited for my 1980s girl self. Now, if you aren't familiar with these, these are Jordache jeans. These have actually been hemmed and I was going to buy these for $6.99 regardless of um, what comps were just because it's such a special find. These are a size 32. They are a long length. And when I ran comps, my eyeballs kind of popped out of my head for a moment. So I definitely, if I'm not feeling just completely confident in the piece I'm picking up, I definitely run comps while I'm in the thrift store and highly recommend doing that. Even if it's a brand that you have picked up a few times and um, I think it's worth spending that little bit of time right before you check out to make sure that everything you're about to pick up is A, in good condition and B, really holding comps. I'll tell you, I left a big behind a Patagonia down jacket. It had some holes in the sleeve that I didn't see at first and it was priced at $25, which would have been fine to pay, but not in the condition it was in. It was also a bright green color. And then I probably had, oh gosh, about six pieces that I left behind. I found a bunch of women's Hannah Anderson tops and bottoms. But then when I took a little bit of a closer look as I was running through, I wasn't gonna do comps on them because they were only gonna be like $4 for a set. I noticed all the tops were a large and all the bottoms were an extra large. And generally like that's fine, but to find like five pairs that were almost bare worn and they were all that mix match size I ultimately decided just to leave them behind I absolutely love this piece right here I don't have this like set up I'm just kind of pulling things out of my bag this is so pretty so it's 80% wool and it's 20% cashmere and this was 50% off so this was five dollars this is Ralph Lauren and I believe it is potentially vintage it feels like it's like a shawl cape but there's sleeves tucked in back here it's a cable knit it's very very soft when i go into the thrift store and you know there's long long racks of sweaters sometimes i'm in the mood to look at every single one but if i really just kind of want to focus my attention i skip over colors like reds and hmm, a lot of browns i do get my attention drawn to camel color sweaters through natural color sweaters now obviously picking up a sweater in this color it does take a little bit of time to just give it a good look and see um you know if there aren't any stains if I get these under my ring lights when I'm taking photos and determine that there's holes or extra stains that I wasn't aware of, these are returnable. I picked up a pair of Kavu men's shorts. These are just kind of like outdoor gear shorts and there's the brand 
tag. These retail for $70 and the internet was intermittent at the thrift store so I decided to just go with them for five bucks. This was also half price. This was priced at 15 so I did pay up for it. I paid $7.50 for it. This is Spider and I was able to find a comp. It says Apre and then Ski on the back. Although since it's yellow, it's really hard to pick up. There's the Spider tag and it is does say Boulder, Colorado on it. Unfortunately, because I have my camera on the ring light there, it's having a hard time focusing on that. It also says spider on the sleeve. I want to say these retailed for upwards of $100. It's very, very soft and stretchy. What ultimately helped me decide to pick this up was that it was a size large. I think I would have left it behind if it was like a small or an extra small. My goodness, this was fun. You know, things are really picked over. And so I feel like I pick up a little bit more of unique pieces when things are really picked over. And I happened upon this, which I was excited about. Now this particular thrift store has a ton of like embellished sweatshirts and stuff. So does anyone have a guess as to what this may be? This does have a pocket in the front. It also has a bleach stain on the front, but it has all this lovely embroidery. And if I could just give her a whirl here for $6.99, blue tags were not on sale. I um, picked up this size extra large. Johnny was piece. I tend to find um, Johnny was like blouses and stuff. So it's really fun to find like the comfy, cozy sweatshirts. I did not run comps on this for that price point. I did thrift outside of Boulder at the Ark. And at this particular Ark, um, I feel like their prices are like really great. You know, they did mark Patagonia at $25, which doesn't surprise me, but generally speaking, like Johnny was for $6.99. In Boulder, that would have probably been $14.99 to $19.99, and sometimes I've even seen Johnny was marked up more than that. This is a unique piece, but you know, since St. Patrick's Day is around the corner, this is a Shinesty piece. They make kind of really flamboyant and wild pattern um, Christmas suits and Christmas sweaters. And these, it's like a jersey material. These are overalls and obviously um, we're picking up on some St. Patrick's Day vibes. Stay weird and shine on. I did get this because it was new with tags. It was seven dollars um, with the half off. It was normally fifteen. It even has inside the pocket um, a beer opener, a bottle opener, I should say. Oh, this might be my favorite find of this trip. This is a homemade, oh, wait until you see it, hand knit cardigan sweater. I paid $3 for this. Oh, look at this. Look at the balloon sleeves. Um, I'm gonna just kind of show the details on this. I could not leave this behind. Okay, so I don't have any fancy brands to say about this. I just have to say it's like a beautifully crafted, hand knit sweater and to me it appeared to be at least a medium I mean obviously I didn't have pit to pit it doesn't have a size in it because it's handmade but it didn't look to be really small to me so um this was only five dollars so I decided to pick it up it's a little girl's north face uh, reversible really cute fleece on the inside or the outside depending how you wear it and then butterflies on the outside and for $4.99 I thought okay I'll pick this up even if I'm able to sell it for $25. I found this fun for $5 as well free people this is a size small it's kind of a lacy knit open knit cardigan 
very boho and flowy vibes. There are no buttons or anything in the front. It did appear to me at really kind of double check glance to be in decent condition for the color. I didn't notice any stains on that. I picked up this vintage for $4.99 as well. Um, size extra large polo Ralph Lauren cotton and it has kind of a quarter zip and a mocky or like a turtleneck style at the neck. This is 100% cotton. Love just in general that kind of more on the vintage side, 20 years old cotton sweaters. I love picking them up. This is also a really great find. This was $7.99. This is a Garnet Hill 100% cashmere sweater. It does have some lace paneling on the front. Hopefully you can see that. I gave this the good old look-see test. I looked through it. I ran my hand through it and it does appear to me to be in lovely condition. I um, love sourcing Garnet Hill cashmere. I feel like it's really, really top tier cashmere for the price point. And I just recently found a gray turtleneck sweater and a friend of mine, um, I wound up giving it to her. <laughs> this is another free people sweater. This was $5 as well. This is an extra small. It's kind of a um, popcorn knit and a stripe oversized sweater considering this is an extra small. This is definitely um, free people boho vibes. I did opt to pick up these free people pieces because sometimes I do host boho and flowy um, live shows and at those live shows people are usually looking for free people. Free people is a really great brand to put in the title of a live show. It does draw a crowd so if I can pick up pieces for five dollars and I can sell a sweater for 20, um, you know, that's that's good enough for me for a live show. It makes me happy. And the last item I picked up here I got for five dollars. It's just a pair of uh, Talbot's trousers. So um, my daughter was at an FBLA competition today, the Future Business Leaders of America. She had a presentation. She actually made it to States and she wore a blue blazer and a dress under it and we decided I would try to pick her up a pair of navy blue um, pants, dress pants, and these were half price, so I picked them up for her. It's kind of fun. Okay, so that was my haul and my thrifting experience, and now I actually want to dive a little bit deeper into, I think, the most important part of this video, and that is actually talking about me in the thrift store and what, what I put in my cart, and ultimately, when I was sorting through all of my things at the end, I decided to not buy, or I was looking in the racks and pulled something out that interests me. Here's my first example. I was going through the racks, they were the women's new racks, and nothing really was catching my attention. And then finally I came across an anthropology fleece piece and I pulled it out. It was the by anthropology really current label. So it excited me. It was a 2X. It had zip pockets in the front. It was very free people vibes. And um, you know, I looked at it, I looked at it and I didn't love the color. So for me, it had the brand, it had the condition, and it had the size, but when I was weighing things out, like should I or shouldn't I, it really just, the color is what sealed the deal for me. I felt like it was going to become one of those pieces that sat in my closet simply because of the color. So I passed on it, 
and then I go around to the other side and I'm looking and I'm looking and there's really not much and when you kind of go through hundreds of pieces and don't see a lot of things I think it's really easy to second guess yourself and then kind of feel like you want to settle for something so I got the fleece piece again and I decided all right well I'm actually just going to run comps on this and see I'm going to let the comps decide I'm going to let the comps drive my decision because I was hesitating because of color so I run the comps the first thing that comes up is anthro pullover sold for $30 on Poshmark and I want to say it was actually marked up there I think it was $12 and it wasn't a 50% off item so immediately that was a no for me I mean I didn't really have to think about it I was just like nope putting that back so let's talk about some other things that I saw or that I picked up and then at the end I decided to pass on you know I saw this really cool uh, vintage southwesterny cotton cardigan cropped it looked like it was from the 90s to me it was really cute I did a quick pass through like when I was picking it up off the rack at first I always kind of do that quick glance and then I'll do a deeper dive towards you know when I'm looking through all the pieces in my cart and ultimately, when I was doing that deeper dive at the end, I didn't run comps or anything. It was one of those things that really looked too unique for me that it that it would pull up comps. Um, and I looked at the sleeves and they were really like kind of browned and discolored on the end. And I thought, well, I could try to clean this. And then I just thought, mm, or I'm going to pass. And that that was a good decision. I passed on that. I went by the men's new racks and, you know, I exited the women's sweaters which is where I kind of focused my energy when I got there I just spent time in the women's sweaters racks and like I said I kind of honed in on colors like to always of course look for patterns kind of feel things and focus on more of those natural tones and um, I stop at every fair isle sweater I stop at every sweater that looks like it has a cool pattern or um, maybe you know a cool texture or something but for the most part I'm not looking in reds and you know as I said so I passed by the men's rack so a men's Patagonia red pullover that was fleecy and um it was a small so I passed on it the brand was there the color wasn't there the size wasn't there the condition would have been fine I also I moved into the active wear section the active wear bottoms and it really was an overwhelming disappointment. I did find those girlfriend collectives, but um, for the most end, this store pretty much only had left on the racks. I don't know what it had earlier in the day, but it only had low end athletic wear, lots of Joy Lab and Fabletics and just brands that I generally pass on. I got excited because I found a pair of free people leggings. Um, I decided the condition on them just really wasn't very great. They like were much older style and I just didn't want to invest the energy into what it would take to clean them up to sell so them. I want to say quickly that sometimes passing on things it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean I pulled out this vintage sweater vest and it was so 80s. It had like geometric designs on the front. It was natural color. It had like those bold color um, you know triangles and circles and stuff on the front and I just looked at it I appreciated it I kind of reminisced in my head for a moment and then I just put it back um, I just like I do love thrifting I do love seeing these vintage pieces this store happens to have a lot more vintage items than other thrift stores that I go to so I know I'm always gonna see something that kind of like warms my heart from the inside um, let's see you know I found a really cute I think it was another um, L.L. Bean it was an L.L. Bean sweater. It was cotton, but then when I turned it around and looked at the sleeve, it was totally stained on the sleeve. So, 
Uh, let's see. I did walk by the shoes. I didn't happen to pick up any shoes. I liked a pair of red leather dance goes. I like finding red dance goes. People really like red dance goes. So if you don't really source dance goes, I would say if you see red dance goes, buy them. The piping on these red dance goes were really worn out and I have a black dye. So if I find a black pair, I can kind of mitigate and make it look not as, you know, worn on the piping, but the red, I really can't do that. And the, there was lots of scuffs in the toe as well. So I passed on all of the shoes. Um, you know, the blazers were a total pass. I even found one that was an Armani blazer and I was just like, this is so old. I don't know. I'm not even, I wouldn't even, it was like vintage Armani blazer, but not like, wow, this is amazing. I went through all of the blazer racks and didn't find one thing. So that was my haul. Thank you so much. Those are the things that I passed on. And just remember, you know, if you buy something and you get it home, hopefully it's a thrift store you can actually return to, please go and do the return. Get your money back, even if it's in a store credit, and use that money towards items that you know are going to sell. I think it's really important for your business to not just be like, oh, it's fine, this you know $10 piece, I can just donate it back or whatever. Um, don't do that. Get your money, get a credit, use that $10 off use it, to use counter the cost of something that maybe is a little bit more expensive that you typically don't invest in. You find a $25 Patagonia and then you're like, well, I have the $10 credit from the sweater I didn't realize was stained. And so really at this moment, it's only gonna cost me $15. I think that's a really good strategy. Still record it though as $25 um, in your cost of goods when you are doing your spreadsheet for your taxes. That is my piece of advice. That's all I have. This is my little note card of things that I wanted to talk about. Um, sometimes I think about all the things that we pass on and it blows my mind to see video footage of me just circling the racks and touching all of these pieces and then walking away with 14 pieces today. So I spent $80. I bought 14 items. That was my all in. And so that's about $550. i am just, I don't even have a calculator. That's just neighborhood in my head. I know that's between five and $6 a piece. So I'm really what, happy with that cost of goods. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to shoot more like this in the future of me actually out there in the thrift store and sharing insight into my experience as I'm deciding if I should buy it or leave it behind. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe. I really greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you saw some items that you would have passed on or um, you absolutely would have picked up, please share with me in the comments what your insight was about this haul. And once again, thank you so much for watching. May kindness light your path.